Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video showing you how you can open the old Windows 10 Task Manager in Windows 11. Now that video will be in the end screen if you would be interested. But uh, just to let you know, um, in regards to restoring legacy features in Windows 11, just a quick video to show you how you can restore the old or roll back to the old legacy notepad now in Windows 11. And this would be the same notepad we get over on Windows 10. Now, obviously, um, as you may well know, the new notepad comes with a couple of differences. You have uh, dark mode support, tab support, character support. Uh, just to mention a couple of the new features that Microsoft, Microsoft has rolled out over the last couple of months. Now, if this is not to your liking, or for whatever reason you prefer um, older legacy apps in Windows, maybe you are like me and you kind of cut your teeth on Windows 95 XP when it comes to the Windows operating system, then you may find um, rolling back to the old notepad a little bit more kind of in your comfort zone. Now, first of all, the easiest way to restore the old notepad would be to uninstall the new notepad from Windows 11. So how you would do this is you would just head to your start, scroll down to notepad, right click uninstall, and that will uninstall uh, the new notepad because if we head into the settings, you will see although the new notepad is available on Windows 11, if we head to our system optional features, you can see that the legacy notepad or the classic system notepad is still available for editing text files when newer versions of the notepad app are not available. So that's the easiest is just to uninstall the new version and this will pop the old version back and that I think would be the simplest solution. But there is a so-called plan B for want of a better word. And if you want to run the old notepad alongside the new notepad in Windows 11, then this is how you can actually do it and it's quite simple. And this was spotted by Albacore over on X. Now, how we do this is, first of all, we head back to our settings. This time we head to apps, advanced app settings. Click on app execution aliases. And if you scroll down, yeah, you'll see notepad. And what you've got to do is this will be toggled on by default. And under App Execution Aliases, you toggle off that setting for Notepad. Because if you don't do this, this is what I'm going to show you now will not work. It'll just open up the new Notepad. And once that's toggled off, we head into our File Explorer. We navigate to our, our this PC, our system PC in File Explorer, and we head over to our C drive or the drive that your operating system is installed on. It may be a little bit different, but mainly it's C drive. And obviously, if you get any UAC user account control warnings going forward, just click your way through those. Head over to the Windows system directory and folder. And here you'll see the classic notepad icon. So as mentioned, if you don't turn this setting off, what you do now, if we double click on it, it'll open up the legacy notepad. But if you don't turn that setting off, this will open up the new notepad. So there we go. We now have the legacy notepad that is available, or the old notepad that's available in Windows 10. And just on a side note, if you want to make this more permanent, you can just right click on that with that setting turned off. And you can pin that to your start. So we can actually navigate out of there. And once that's on your start menu, there we go. We have Notepad, and you can then work in the new Notepad. But there is a downside to this. It isn't a full so-called rollback, because if I save this file, as an example, to my desktop, let's just call it A. If I save that to my desktop, you will see now that if I open that, it opens up the new Notepad. It opens up that text document in the new notepad which is a bit unfortunate and if I right click on there there is no open with for the the old notepad it still opens up in the new notepad but the main the main benefit of this is you've got the best of both worlds so to speak uh, you've got the new notepad and if you want to use the notepad to create 
a text document or work in code or whatever, maybe more familiar with doing that, working in the old notepad, you can do so by following um, the steps in this video. And then obviously it will, um, although it can't um, be opened in the old notepad, you can still then view that in the new notepad, but you got the benefit of working um, in the old notepad. And um, personally, I must admit, I wouldn't find any benefit of this, but um, if you are more into your legacy apps or just want a bit of nostalgia in your operating system, that's how you can restore the legacy or the old notepad um, over on Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.